The amendment allows government to apply an annual rental increase, which Samantha Sacramento, Minister for Housing, described as modest and long overdue. Even if applied on an annual basis, rents will still be kept considerably lower than they would be if inflation rates had been applied in 1983. The increase itself, Mr Speaker, is relatively minimal. In, the, in his 2016 budget address, the Chief Minister announced that government residential rents would be increased, in fact, for the first time in 34 years, rather than 32 years, as he then said, by 3% which will amount to an average of 60p per week. The increase will amount to 39p for a two-bedroom property at Alameda Estate, or 46p a week for a two-bedroom property at the Mid Harbour Estate, namely less than half the price of one edition of the Gibraltar Chronicle. I indicated then, Mr Speaker, that this very modest adjustment should continue on an annual basis. And even if this measure were applied annually over the next three decades, rents at that point will nevertheless remain considerably below what, would have been, what it would have been if 1983 rents had increased consistently in line with inflation over the 34-year period between 1983 and 2017. The amendment will also allow for similar increases to other government charges, with the Minister having instructed for these to be applied annually in accordance with inflation. The Chief Minister also presented a motion to approve the appointment of the Public Services Ombudsman for a period of three years. The motion was approved unanimously by government, with the opposition abstaining. Now, Mr Speaker, it could perhaps be reasonably argued, as indeed the Chief Minister already has, that Mr Teraldas, because of his intimate inside knowledge of the workings of a civil service and other government entities, is perhaps best placed to consider complaints against them. On the other hand, Mr. Speaker, we have received representations that the Office of Ombudsman may perhaps be seen to be undermined as regards the perceived lack of independence by the general public. Parliament adjourned sine dia for the summer recess.